Hello and welcome back to Will It Work? Today we're going to take a look at streaming Bluetooth audio to Apple's HomePod speakers, which normally can't act as a Bluetooth speaker. In fact, they don't even have an auxiliary line in. They are AirPlay only. Now I've read some articles online where people have gotten Raspberry Pi computers, put custom code on them, and were able to reroute Bluetooth audio to AirPlay to the HomePod speaker. And while that's neat and all, it's not something most people are going to do. So I started looking for an off-the-shelf solution, perhaps one where we could keep it all within the Apple family. And as it turns out, you only need an iOS device to be the bridge. So if you're like me and you've been in the Apple ecosystem for a long time, you probably have an old iPhone lying around your house that you haven't recycled or given to one of your kids. Or perhaps you have an old iPad that's not getting a lot of use or even an iPod Touch. Any of them will work. So for this example, I'm just going to use an old iPhone 6S I have here. And then you're going to need three small accessories. The first one is a lightning to USB adapter. Here's the third party one I've been using lately in my videos, but actually I'm going to go back and use Apple's in this video because it has a little pass through here that lets you keep the iPhone charged. And I want to set this up in a kind of quasi permanent mode, like in case your buddy comes over and he's got an Android phone and he wants to play some music, you can have a ready to go solution. And let's face it, if you're using an old iPhone, the battery is going to be shot anyway. So this is going to be real important. So the next thing you're going to need is a USB sound card. And I got this off of Amazon for uh, $7. There's other ones you can get that are more expensive, but honestly, this one works just fine. It has a line in, line out for it. So I'm just going to plug this into the USB port here on the lightning adapter. And then the next thing you're going to need to get is a Bluetooth receiver. They are all over the place from $9 to $99. I wanted to keep this somewhat economical, but I didn't want to buy the cheapest thing either. So I wound up with getting this one, which was uh, $22. And it has uh, RCA out, it has three and a half millimeter line out, and it has, uh, actually it comes with two power cables. One uh, you can use in a USB brick and the other one's just a normal uh, AC wall adapter. So you have a lot of choices on this for $22. So what I'm gonna do now is just plug this in and then I'm going to put the line out and I'm going to, of the Bluetooth receiver and then I'm going to put it into the uh, line in over here on the little USB card. And then uh, let's go ahead and get this uh, paired. I'm going to use the Nano 7th generation which has Bluetooth, the only uh, traditional iPod that did. So we'll go in here to settings and we'll pair with it. Good. And then you're going to download a free app called AirCord on your iPhone. And it lets you reroute audio from the lightning port over AirPlay. I think it was designed primarily so people could play record players on their AirPlay speakers. But in this case, we're going to use it with Bluetooth. So. You can go in here and see all of the items I can reroute the audio to. So as you can see, I have three Apple TVs in here. Apple TVs, you can use Bluetooth uh, as far as connecting a speaker to them or headphones, but you can't send Bluetooth audio to an Apple TV. So they'll work in this example, just like what I'm showing here with the uh, HomePod mini speaker. So I'm going to go ahead and plug this in. And you should see this pop up as it recognizes the USB sound card. There it is. And then I'm just going to choose to reroute here to the HomePod speaker. And then let's pull up the um, Nano here and there you go. There is a little bit of a lag, so you wouldn't want to do this with a video or a video game, but for music, it's perfectly fine. Hey Siri, volume down too. Okay, media will play softer. 
So this sounds pretty good. Uh, you're not going to mistake it for airplay quality, but uh, it works great in a pinch. Other things you could use this with are third-party airplay speakers. Not all of them have Bluetooth either, and uh, they've added airplay to a lot of new television sets as well, so all of these should work with this app. And like I said, you could now take this and just put it off in the corner of your room or under your TV on a shelf or something and kind of just leave it in a quasi-permanent state, and it's there if you need it with your old device or if, like I said, your Android friends come over or whatever, and it just works. So anyway, that's all for this video. I hope you're enjoying these videos. If you are, please like and subscribe. I'll be back soon, but that's all for now. Take care.